What is going on my people? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is brought to you by Jetfire97. On my Nebula actually video, I asked you guys which uh, was the next video you wanted me to overview and Jetfire, he said, uh, he recommended uh, Thanos with, from Endgame and here it is. Jetfire is a very good friend of this channel, but he has a channel on his own. So I'm going to link on the description uh, the video for his slash uh update on his collection which by the way is one of the biggest collection of hot toys and some other figures that i have ever seen so i really suggest you to check it out and give him some love so thank you jetfire97 for suggesting this video so here we go the figure that we're going to be talking about here is obviously thanos from endgame and this uh this design not the figure itself but this design it has me all over the place like when i saw this uh, armor the first time i didn't like it that much because i was in love with the armor in uh, in guardians of the galaxy volume one when i saw guardians of the galaxy volume one i'm like yes they absolutely nailed uh, thanos armor it's exactly how i picture it from comic book to movie it, it was just perfect so when I came across this one, I didn't like it as much because it was uh, it was a good armor, as you can see, but it was not uh, comic book accurate. It was not similar to the one. It is similar, but not as much as the one in, on Volume 1. So then after that, I started seeing like promotional image with from, from Thanos without the... Um, the the armor and it was even worse i didn't i didn't like it at all this bald-headed thanos with no armor at all i just didn't like it at all but i saw so much of it this is how these people they're they're masters of their craft i saw so much imagery and after that i started growing on me more and more and more and after i saw the the movie i just completely i just love the design of the thanos without the armor I really, really like it and now we are back into this armor once again and now i am digging it like because these people they just play with you they play with you like a fiddle until until you like what they what they want you to like and uh and so that you can buy their products that's why they play the same song over and over on the radio you might hate it at first but after a while you find yourself singing that stupid song that two weeks ago you hated it because it just smashed it into your brain <laughs> and now you finally uh, like the the song so this is what has happened to me with this armor i didn't like it at first but now i am in love with this armor to the point that i like it even better than the one uh, from Infinity War and possibly uh, when it comes to the figure, yeah, because this is more accurate and uh, years of uh, crafting of hot toys has come between these two figures. So yeah, this is definitely way, way better than the one from Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, this armor that we see right here, it is an absolute masterpiece by hot toys. Uh, as you can see all the scratches and all the weathering on this armor is just absolutely outstanding. Coming on to the likeness, this is really, it is getting boring, Hot Toys. How, how many times I'm gonna, you're gonna hear me say, this is another 10 out of 10. Really, really, can you just fuck up here and then so I can, I don't look like a kiss ass. You're not giving me any choice. This is, this is actually what I think. This is another 10 out of 10. And please, if you disagree with me, put it on the comments below. I want to know. Tell me I'm biased, please, because this just looks insane good look at that picture it just looks straight from the movie he looks like he's about to drop an album <laughs> on that picture is so freaking good so freaking good and the weathering on the helmet on the on the armor just look at this weathering here cross pattern absolutely outstanding just the, the sheer look on his face the expression he's not dead like the one on the Guardians of the Galaxy, like Gamora, we just uh, took a look out. He, he's just mean, he's frowning. There's so much emotion on his face. This is what I'm talking about, Hot Toys. This is what you have to do with all of your figures. Top it with the, 
dead look on the figures, giving some expression, an expression that fits that character. And this somber, meaningful, just, oh my god, so good, so, so good. I can't describe it. It gives me some, it, it, it transmits so much to me that I can barely um, describe what he's going through. It's, he can be thinking about many things, like he's calculating the enemy, he's focusing. He, Thanos is not just a killer for just for the sake of killing. He has a purpose, and he achieved that purpose on Infinity War, as we all know. So he's just not a cold-blooded killer. He he did it with a purpose, which what he think he was right. Uh, so yeah, he, he's somebody that analyzes, and he's very calm when he speaks. I love this fucking character. He, he, he's amazing. He's probably one of the best uh, villains ever, you know, compared to the Joker or someone like that. Yeah, a part. Really, really good. I, I am in love with this uh, character and this uh, armor for this character is absolutely outstanding. And as you can see here, once again, the head scope without the helmet, uh, which is one of the first accessories we're going to be taking a look at. Um, just just mind-blowing, mind-blowing. All the detail. This is the same health code we had before. But nonetheless, it was good before. It is good once again. And as you can see here, we're going to have a removable helmet that you're going to be using on this health code and the next one. Because as you guys know, he has two health codes. So yeah, another one of the accessories that he comes with is this articulated gauntlet. We can barely see on this picture. Maybe we can see a little bit better here. Over here, we can take a look at the gauntlet. We were, we were talking about this is a bad angle, but uh, we have seen it before. This is the exact same uh, gauntlet from the from the other Thanos, to the point that it <laughs> it doesn't match uh, the the outfit. Actually, it's not part of the outfit. We all know that, so it doesn't have to match. But, you know, uh, I wish it had a little bit of weathering somewhere, like here and there, because this is so weather, and this is completely brand new, so it's a little, just a tad off-putting, but nothing major. I think it just looks fantastic. And once again, we have a clear picture of the chest here, of the torso for this figure, and the amount of weathering here is absolutely outstanding and mind-blowing. And this picture, we can also see the secondary hand skull that he comes with, with the gritty teeth, like he's actually fighting now. He's just grunting because he's just uh, facing a powerful foe or several ones. He would, speaking of the Avengers, and we can see here that once again the helmet can be put on this hand skull. That brings a total of four different looks for the head, like two on helmeted and two helmeted uh, head skulls. That's pretty good that we have that choice and I, this is one of those figures that I cannot choose between the two head sculpts because they are both so amazing. Usually when a figure comes with two health sculpts, you you're decided, ah, this is the one that I'm going to be using one. Oh, this is the other one I'm going to be using. But this one, <laughs> I don't know. I will have to think on the scenario. You guys know that I like to post my figures and all that. So I will have to think about the scenario and I will have to pose him accordingly to the scenario. And then after that, I will pick uh, one of the heads. Because both heads called I did both 10 out of 10. And when it comes to everything, how much he looks like the character and how much the expression. Check out this expression here with the rigid teeth and just the frown, all the wrinkles on his nose. And the, from the cheeks here coming out to his nose, this is unbelievable work by Hato once again. Wow, what a figure. I'm really, really digging this Thanos. Man, man, oh man, really, really good. Uh, this is yet another um, good, um, another good image. We can see the the frowning face from a different angle. We're talking about these cheeks here coming onto the nose, and all this, this amazing work, the weathering. And this is the um, this is another of the accessories. Is a close fist on 
with the with the gauntlet and uh this the last time on the other channel we had an entire arm that it was bent with the closed fist i think this time around we're not gonna get in the uh the uh, the complete arm we're just gonna be getting the gauntlet itself it's gonna be replaceable and you're gonna have a perfect fist because you know those articulated arms are a little bit difficult to to make it into a perfect fist so this time around uh we also have the a perfect fist but it, the arm is not bent so you can use it in any pose you want as you can see here is throwing a punch with his perfect fist really really amazing stuff and this is yet another of uh, a better look of the closed fist uh, gauntlet we see it right here and we see it from in this picture it matches a little bit better I don't know if it's the lightning they use but it matches a little bit better but once again they're not from the same they're not from the same uh, armor so it doesn't have to match amazing how it's called amazing uh, weathering on the armor right there really really good and another one of the accessories that he comes with is this sword right here and this sword has a bunch of details I don't know if you guys can see this this picture is just too far and this picture is a little bit closer but darker but I think over here we can see better because it's so big it has so much detail here on the inside all this all these crevices all this I don't know it could it could I don't know it's just really 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 amazing um it has just uh, like a smear all, all throughout the the weapon as well i don't know the hot toys and their paint jobs are absolutely outstanding the handle over here the um, how the mold for the handle really really cool and uh once again this just somber look and with that sword and the ambiance behind it it's just this is a perfect picture I don't see my Thanos holding a weapon. I really don't. I see him more like a brawl, you know, that's why. Even though it's a melee weapon, but uh, may, I have to see the movie to see if I get into this weapon. But uh, And he does look pretty cool holding the, that the double edge, uh, double sword um, weapon. But in my, in my mind, since I saw him on the first movie and every time I see him, you know, in the comic books and all that, he's not wielding a weapon. He's just, you know, either wielding the gauntlet or not wielding anything at all. And the golden, the gauntlet is just <laughs> like his hand. So it doesn't look like he's holding anything. So, yeah, this is we're going to be taking a look at now what everything that is included on the package. So you have the two heads, you have the weapon. You have the articulated uh, gauntlet and you have the closed fist gauntlet. A few hands and the stand. That's about it. It's not much, but I don't, I don't think you need more, much more with Thanos. And you start including stuff that you might not need. It is going to include, increase the price on this figure, which is already a little bit high. And we're going to take it. In, we're gonna take a look at that. So the first Thanos is going for three hundred and seventy-six dollars, and it included all of this. Very, very similar to what he was including. So we come to the new one, and whoops, we have gone <laughs> to four hundred and fifteen dollars. That is a substantial increase in price. So if you take a look at these two figures, they both have two head skulls, two head skulls, and they both have like two hands. This one has like the entire arm, but this one has more hands, and this one has uh, only, only this, and this one has more hands. So you can say that those two even out, and then you have the backdrop, and this one has that weapon. So I would say they're pretty much even. So why the price increase, in my opinion? The price increase is on this armor. Just the materials they use for this armor. I know it's plastic, but it is, I would say this, um, this fabric right here is much cheaper than plastic, but plastic is pretty cheap. But here is where the kicker comes in. Paying somebody to paint hundreds if not thousands of these little panels that's where it comes the, the the price increase these leather pants you just put them on and that's it you're done 
or if you want to like just paint this belt right here or this right here it's a small piece but look at the amount of painting that you have to do and it's very meticulous job very very precise that you have to be when you're doing this job and it has to be done by a professional which i'm sure they're not going to pay uh quarters over there <laughs> they're getting paid substantial because this is this is absolutely outstanding no contest uh, job so these people are top of the world um top of the line uh, on on their job so yeah i think that's where the price increase is coming from guys and to be honest this is a huge figure thirty dollars if other figures we smaller figures we forgive them for you know stuff like eight dollars and this bigger uh figure can we forgive thirty dollars hmm i think he's a little bit expensive he's really 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 expensive but is he worth it though that is the question is he worth it for you i think it looks badass and if i could get him i would this price would not stop me from getting this Thanos. If you have the previous one and you have it with that one, then all the power to you, just keep that one and that's it. But if I have to choose between the two, I I haven't even seen Endgame yet, and I already like this armor a lot. So by the end of the Endgame, I either I'm going to increase that likeness, <laughs> how much I like this armor, or it's going to decrease because I might not like it. But I don't know why, but something's telling me that I am going to like it even more. So, yeah, I would just, it's expensive. I know, I know. It is, it's, there's no other way around it. He is expensive, even compared to his already previous expensive figure of himself but they're offering you not much when it comes to accessories but they're offering you a lot when it comes to us as a piece you know like when you buy uh for example when you buy a statue you're not buying accessories you're not buying articulation you're not buying none of that you're buying paint job and you're buying a beautiful masterpiece from whoever uh, crafted that statue right so this this is how I see this figure. It's just an incredible weathering and just all the just, just sheer amount of weathering that this figure has and all the scratches and all the battle damage he has all throughout his um his armor is just mind blowing. You can tell there's quality quality top quality behind this figure so yeah guys um it's obviously completely up to you if i had the money if i had the space if i i, I would totally go for this one it has overthrown um this guy for me which i was certainly that i was getting when you know i was heavy into collecting i was gonna get this guy for sure because i like the movie so much and i like him in the movie so much I haven't even seen the end game, and this guy is already uh, taking that place. So if I ha if you ask me which one of the two you should go for, my personal opinion, this is the one to go. Is he expensive? Yes, he is. All hot toys are. He is a little bit more expensive than he should have been. Maybe, maybe three ninety five would have been a better looking price. Just, just to look at it. I mean, 20 bucks is not going to break the bank for you, but just to look at it, just the fact that you're going to have a three here is not going to impact you as much. Uh, so, yeah. Well, guys, this is what I think about this figure. What do you think? Do you like the figure? How does it compare to you with the previous uh, Thanos from Infinity War without the armor? Do you like it? Which one of the two you like it better? Uh, which one do you, are you getting or do you have the other one and you're already happy with it and you're going to keep it uh, like that on your collection so put me on the comments below what do you think about all this and try not to be a stranger on the channel be around